is. These are nice. Yeah, the newest one is the Sherman Tank. That's the uh, Hobby Boss kit with our all the stuff. I brought pictures because it's so heavily modified. It's hard to get out of the Oh, these, these videos just speak really loudly. So talk about your mom right now. Exactly. So that Sherman Tank is a um, Hobby Boss kit, it's heavily modified, corrected the engine deck, corrected the turret, corrected the suspension, and added a whole bunch of scratch bit, tiny little scratch built in things on it. So there you go.
checked into it, and they didn't cover it. And it was like, oh, it was so bad. I had to fight this thing. They finally sent me a new one. But the problem is, if it's not going upward, then you lose it. Two more.
From a syringe? Yeah. 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 I just okay. cut it. Kind of like the perfect. Oh, sorry. So I don't know what there are. Some people will never do another one. I don't know. I'm not supposed to bring that stuff over. That was just a good one. Well, just so there's that.
A contest directors. Attention everyone, the awards are about to begin. Uh, everyone, uh, it, feel free to continue to uh, browse and look at the models, but uh, please keep it down so we can all hear. to our, uh, our new venue here at the uh, Doubletree. Uh, first time here, still learning a few of the, uh, the ropes, but uh, I think we're getting along. So, I know it's it's tough, but uh, I've seen a few guys coming down from, uh, from the Bay Area. I think we got uh, anyone out here from Las Vegas? Yep. Awesome, thank you. Anyone from Arizona? Right, excellent. Further north, what are we at? Where are you from, sir? Oh, okay. Is that as loud as it goes? Crank it. All right. Our, our, uh, our speakers only go so far. They only go to 11. They only go to 11, yes. All right. 
So, again, thank you all for coming out, and uh, let's let's get to reading off the awards here. So, first of all, we'll, we'd like to thank our juniors and our young adults. So, we have, in junior category, ages up to 12, a third place going to Rhett Fanton for the eight plane transport aircraft. Rhett, where are you? Come on up, get your award. We don't fight often. <laughs> All right. That was the second one. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Red, sorry. Wait, Red. I gave you a third place, but you got second. I want to fix that problem. All right. And a first place going to Carlos Lopez for Space Shuttle. Adult category, we have a third place for. Let's see, this is Evan Tonner with the J87 G1 Stuka. Very good. Here he comes. All right. That's third place, right? Third place, yes. I, I got it wrong last time. All right, thank you. All right, second place to Leo Maida for his Super Pershing. is going to Ethan Furler for his British SAS Trooper. Okay. Checking the sponsors here to make sure we don't miss anyone. All right, category one. Now, what I'm going to do here for all the adult categories is I'm going to read in rapid succession third place, second place, first place, then all three of you come on up and uh, we'll, we'll applaud you all at once. Otherwise, this will drag on forever. We don't want that. All right, first uh, category one, surface ships. Third place, Brandon Hopkins, USS Fletcher. Second place, Mark Knowlton for his Yorktown CV-5. And first place, Sean Follison, me, for my USS Langley. Great. I swear I was on the other side of the partition at the time. All right, so, category two, submarines. Third place, John Ballman for the German Type 23 U-boat. Second place for, oh, the Open Gorelli Stefanski for the U-boat tower, and first place for David Paul Frederick for the USS Skipjack. All right, category three. We have military vehicles, Allied tanks and assault guns, close top 45 and earlier. Third place. Grant Mayberry for the Hungarian R-35. Second place, Mike Bazika for the M-18 Hellcat. And first place, Joe Labuzio for the Schneider CA-1. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Right, category four. Category four, we have a split. <laughs> there were enough uh, Axis tanks that uh, we went ahead and made two categories. First side of the split is the Panzer III family. Third place, Gary Okuma for the Panzer III N. Second place, Bill Evans for the Stug III. And first place, Conrad Schreier for the Panzer III F. Thank you. The 
other side of the split of everything other than the Panzer III family. We have third place, Joe Lamusio for his Mark A Whippet in German markings. Second place, Michael Armstrong for his Panzer IV G. At first place, Bruce McRae for his Luke's FD SD KFZ 123. Category five, tanks and assault guns from 1945 onward. Third place, Joseph Rocamora with the M50 Israeli Sherman. Second place, Sean Paulison for the M1 Israeli Sherman. And first place, Joe Lamusio for his T55 AM2B. Category six, uh, military vehicles, artillery, and open-top self-propelled guns. Third place, Sean Follison for the Mark 38 five-inch twin mount. Second place, Jim Harlow for the M7 Priest. And first place, Michael Armstrong for the SDKFZ 124 Vespa. Seven military vehicles, wheeled, half tracked, and armored. This, and again, I sorry, I should have mentioned all these so far are the 35th scale armor categories here. Category seven, third place, Gary Akuma for the BA 20 armored car. Second place, Ken Schwartz for the Berg Hetzer. And first place, Bruce McRae for the Pioneer Panzerwagen. <laughs> This is uh, let's see, unarmored, uh, so the soft skins here. Third place, Julian English for the LR Long Range Desert Group 30 CW truck. Second place, Kent Schwartz for the SAS Jeep. And first place, Bill Evans for the Opal Blitz. Now we're into the mid-scale, so 48 scale plus or minus military vehicles. Allied. Third place, Conrad Schreier for his M4A3 Sherman. Second place, John Cena for his Challenger. And first place, Conrad Schreier for his Matilda Mark III. First and third? First and third. There you go. Yep. Second place. There you think, Thank you. Category 10, the other side of it, the Allied 48 plus or minus scale. Third place is Kenneth Nerrero for the Nashorn. Second place, Conrad Schreier for his Panzer 3F. And first place is also Conrad for another Panzer 3F. All right, category 11, military vehicles, small scale. So your 72s and such. Third place, Joe Lamusio for the FT-17. Second place, Gordon Zuther for the T-90K. And first place, Ed Barak with the Russian BMP. We are now into the automotive categories, and for these we have had a special sponsorship for all the automotive categories uh, war by Warlock Industries in memory of Dale King. You can see we have the Dale King Memorial exhibit up here in the front. I hope you've all had taken the opportunity to swing by, have a look at, uh, at the collection of Dale's work. So this is covering categories 12, through 18, all thanks to Warlock Industries in honor of Dale King. 12, Stock Auto. Third place, Steve Taylor for the 58 Edsel. Second place, Isao Takeuchi for the Toyota Land Cruiser 80. And first place also, Isao Takeuchi for the Ferrari F430. Thirteen. 
Customs. Third place, Steve Taylor for the 49 Merc. Second place, Timothy Martinez for the 56 Chevy Nomad. And first place, Dutch Gorsha for the 69 Chevy Double Cam Hauler. Fourteen. Category Street Performance. Third place, Chaz Ruth, I believe. Chaz Ruth for the 57 Chevy Bel Air. Second place, Dutch Gorsha for the Grand National. And first place, Chaz Ruth again for the 64 Impala. <laughs> Fifteen, trucks, heavy equipment, and working vehicles. Third, Pablo Maida for the 66 Sears service truck. Second place, Gary Beatty for the taco truck. And first place, Daniel Valencia for the Mercedes-Benz truck. Sixteen, we have a split. So this is the competition vehicles category. The first side of the split is drag race. Third place, John Barker, 64 Dodge, Dick Landy. Second place, Timothy Martinez, S10 truck. At first place, Timothy Martinez with the Ravel Nova. Thank you. All right, the other side of the split, road race. Third place, Daniel Valencia for the BMW E46 GT3. Second place, Kristen Eslanian for the Mercedes Sauber C9. And first place, I'll take this first. <laughs> first place, Asao Takuchi for the Mercedes the CLK GTR. Just a moment. Okay. All right, so that was the heavy trucks? No. Oh, John Barter? Yeah. Okay. All right, so yeah, John Barker, we're still waiting for you to pick up your third place. All right, category 17, miscellaneous vehicles. Third place, Daniel Valencia, BMW M1 Art Car. Second place, Ogie, Ogie Gonzalez for the Batmobile. And first place, Joe Porsche for the Boss Bulldozer. Motorcycles. Looks like there was only one entry, so first place to Sean Jenkins for the Tamiya Motorcycles. Oh, so there, it looked like there was a second entry, but it had no paperwork. Thank you very much. That I can't help with. All right. Display only. Display only, yeah. All right. Okay. So, category 19. they call it Okay. Checking online for the uh, sponsorships here. Okay. No sponsor on this one. Category, so, again, all of those, Warlock Industries in honor of Dale King for all the automotive categories. We're in the aircraft now. 19. 70 second scale small props, so single engine props and 72 scale. Third place, Don Hayes, P47D Thunderbolt. Second place, Barry Webb, the NA Nation. And first place, Rick Costa, Messerschmitt 109 G6. <laughs> Seventy-two scale medium and large prop. This one is sponsored by Bob Pennicus. Third place, 
Barry Webb, CL415, Super Scooper. Second place, Julian English with B25 Mitchell. And first place, Peter Long for the Shackleton. Aircraft 72 Jets. Third place, Ramon Ornelas for the F 14D. Second place, Barry Webb, the NA North American B 45. And first place, Randy, Randy Rothgar. Oh, Randy Rothgar, Boeing 737 800. scale small prop sponsored by Dennis Henry and in this category number 22 we have a split first sight of our small prop 48 split is naval aircraft third place Conrad Schreier F4 F3 second place Jim Wexler for the F6 F Hellcat and first place Brian Thomason for the Hellcat Mark II The other side of the split, the non-naval aircraft. Third place, Don Hayes, Spitfire 5B. Second place, Steve Taylor, Sky Raider, RVNAF. First place, Rick Costa, Fock Wolf 190, B9. Aircraft, 48 scale, medium and large prop, also sponsored by Dennis Henry. Third place, Randy Rothgar for the Pukara. Second place, Peter Long, P-38J Lightning. And first place, Jim Wexler for the JD-1 Invader. <laughs> It's an A26 like you've probably never seen one before. Yellow wings, blue body, and red drones hanging under the wings. <laughs> All right, category 24. Jets, 148 scale. We also had a split. So you know, Navy Marines on one side and then all others on the other. So this is the Navy and Marines side. Third place, George Siriotin for the F-18F Super Hornet. Second place, Danny Delgadillo for the F-14D VF-101. And first place, Sane Kim for the F-14A VF-2. Small prop naval, uh, Conrad Schreier for the F4 F3, Jim Wexler in the F6F. Yeah, we did. Huh? Yes, I did. Don Hayes, Spitfire Mark 5B, Steve Taylor, Sky Raider, and first place Rick Costa, Falk Wolf 190. Is there a third split I don't know about? Could happen. <laughs> hey, get up here in front, Paul. It's the drugs. Uh, it's been a long day. All right, all right. 
All right, so we got through, yes, all right, back to 48 scale jets. This time is the non-Navy and, and Marine stuff. Third place, Sane Kim for the A-10C. Second place, Jim Wexler for the Digital Flanker Ukrainian Air Force. First place, Carlos Oriana for the F-16. 'm of reading them all off real fast and handing them out but hey we're halfway through already so all right category 25 let's see if we have any sponsors we have no, no sponsors for this one. okay we have third place oh this is a small scale so this is the stuff less than 172 third place Jeff Thompson Braniff 747. Second place, Ed Baroth, F-22 Raptor. First place, Ramon Ornelas for the F-18 Hornet. Thank you. Thank you. 26, aircraft, 32 scale and larger, prop. Third place, Craig Brown, F-4U1 Corsair. Second place, Ed Baroth, P-47D Thunderbolt. And first place, a whopping monster, the HE-111's <laughs> Willing by Daniel Valencia. Second place. Second place, congratulations, sir. And I will take it. It's a beast. 27, 32 scale and larger jets. Third place, Craig Brown, F-16 Wild Weasel. Second place, Glaladin Amagon for the F-18, the MFA-122. First place to Michael Cushing for the F-14, a plus Tomcat. Second Twenty-eight. Yes. yes. Okay. So we still have the award here for our second place winner, Galaladin Adagon for the VMFA 122 F-18. So your award is still up here. Twenty-eight aircraft biplanes, fabric and rig. We have a split on this category. First side of the split is 148 scale and smaller. Third place, Jim Harlow for the Handley Page. Second place, Joe Lamusio for the Sopwith Dolphin. And first place, Barry Webb for the Blackburn Kangaroo. Let's be asked, would you like to fly in a plane that is called the Kangaroo? Only for short hops. Ah! Oh. 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 Wait all day for that joke. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mary, Mary, where are you? You were here. <laughs> Hop on up here. <laughs> oh, there he is. That's Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Yes. Queen missed my joke. All right. The other side of that, the the big, the bigger stuff, the 132. Third place, Ed Bull for the DH-9A, U.S. Marine. Second place, Doug Ramos for the Roland D-6A. First place, Terry Baylor for the FE-2B. Congratulations, Terry. Oh, thanks. 29, aircraft, rotary wing, AKA helicopters. Third place, Mason Dupnik for the CH-46E Frog. Second place, Randy Rothar for the MV-22B Osprey. And first place, George Siriotin for the UH-1H-UE. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, we have 
finish the aircraft on in the category 30, dioramas and vignettes. Third place, Grant Mayberry, the general and the queen. Second place, Sam Saliba for U.S. Army 29th Infantry. And first place, Jason Tsai for Curiosity. <laughs> 31, Dioramas, Military. Third place, Lee Jong Joon for Into Deep Forest. Second place, also Lee Jong Joon for Where Are We? First place, Theo Pingarelli Stefanski, Tiger 1946. <laughs> 32, Dioramas, Sci Fi, and Miscellaneous. Third place, Grant Mayberry, Blood Angel Space Marine. Second place, Michael Armstrong. Archman, how did we get into this mess? First place, Bruce McRae. Idiots, I told you so. The 33, figures, 79 millimeter and smaller. Third place, Bruce McRae again for the Nor Norman Knight 1066. Second place, Sam Saliba for the Vice Admiral Horatio Nelson. First place is also Sam Saliba for the Roman Gladiator. All right, 34 figures, 80 millimeter to 150 millimeter. Third place, Sam Saliba for the Elf Elder. Second place, also Sam Saliba for the Medieval Knight. First place, Bruce McRae for the Finnish Volunteer, SS Gordland. <laughs> 35 figures, 151 millimeter and larger. Folks around the edges, please keep it down. I know we're getting excited. <laughs> All right, figures, 151 and larger, second place. Looks like there were only two entries in this one, but what entries they were. Fran Adams, French Sapper Grenadier, takes second place. First place, Bruce McRae, Tommy, 1916. <laughs> All right, then in category 36, we have the sci-fi and fantasy figures, human scale thick people and creatures. This one we have a split. We have the anime and anime-like anime figures, and we have all others. First of that, we'll go the, the other types. Third place, Ignatius Fisher for the Iron Blood Shaman. Second place, Bruce McRae again for the Goblin Foot Soldier. And first place, Lance Dubersek. Yeah, Dubersek. Bride of Frankenstein. Now for the side of the split, the anime-based figures. Third place, Brandon Hopkin for the Matilda Ajan. Second place, Freddy Torres for the Pico Chugi, Pico Chugail, Chiglet? Pico Chigle, I guess it is. And first place, Brandon Hopkins for the Nausicaa with Kai. <laughs> okay, Freddy, Freddy Torres here. She'll take it for me. Oh, here he comes. Well, we split, and I only did the outside. Thank you. Congratulations, Fred. How do you pronounce that? Pikachu. 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 So it's Pikachu Nurgle. Pikachu. Pikachu. Oh, that's been an R, not an I. Okay. Whoever wrote it down, put an I. All right. Pikachu. It's creepy. Okay. That's creepy. <laughs> 37, sci-fi and fantasy, giant monsters, aka kaiju and dinosaurs. 
Third place, Juan Brissetto for the T-Rex. Second place, Gordon Zuther for the Triceratop. And first place, Michael Armstrong for Godzilla. Category 38, sci-fi and fantasy, robotic and mech, non-biologicals. We had a split in this category, and this was a one heck of a split to figure out. The most even way we could figure out how to do it is kind of, we're, we're kind of calling it camouflage and shiny. But you want new and used, you want, I don't know, weathered and glossy. Weathered and, glossy. and the, the glossy sometimes gets glossy with dirt on it. Sometimes the, the camouflage is, it was shiny paint, but it's clearly been faded and nobody polished it yet. Best we could do sometimes, it's tough. Okay, this is the, the camouflage side. Third place, Freddy Torres for the Necron Flayer. Second place, Jesse Crumb for the Scope Dog Mecca. First place, Bill Evans, the Umbrella Corps Critter Gitter. The other side of it, the shiny side. Third place, Rachel Regalado for the Transformers Windblade. Second place, Brandon Hopkins for the OJ. And first place, Jesse Crum for the Katorikov. You two have fun. yeah. Spurter. Okay, Spurter. All right, category 39. This is sci fi and fantasy Gundams. In this, we have a split. Now, for, for those among the uninitiated, this will sound kind of weird when the overall category was already Gundam, but the split is Gundam and not Gundam. Now, here's the deal the series is called Gundam, but there's also a particular type of robot within the show that is known by the name of Gundam. The other robots are different robots. Okay, so this is the Gundams from Gundam. That's the first side of the split, for which we have third place, Rachel Regalado for the Tri Burning Gundam. Second place, Angel De La Cruz for the Part two. Hazen Blaze two. And first place is Rachel Regalado again. All right. For the not Gundam Gundams. Third place, Brandon Hopkins, RGM eighty nine Jigen. Second place, Masao Takuchi, Zaku two. And first place, Rachel Regalado. Yeah. For the second one? Zaku two. Oh, oh, uh, who's Zaku two? Okay, fine. Yeah. Earth. Oh. Thank you. All right. Category 40, sci-fi and fantasy and real spacecraft. This one, let's see. Okay, this one has a split. One side of the split is the Star Wars and Star Trek models. Third place, Bruce McRae for Begin Your Attack Run. Second place, Matt Robeson, Imperial ATM-6 Walker. And first place, Chung Wei Yang for the Star Wars Blockade Runner. Second. Thanks so much. Other side of the split. Third place, David Frederick for the Bird One from James Bond. Oh. First place, oh, uh, Chung Wei. Yeah. Oh. Did Chung Wei. Third, third place to Dave Frederick for the Bird One from James Bond. Second place, 
Tan Ba Nyo for the VF1 Puking Dog Squadron. And first place, Mark Nornberg for the Schwinn Pants. <laughs> We'll haul them up here for something at one point. <laughs> First place for the blockade runner in the category. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you get your award. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there, 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 there we go. Thank you. All right. We have 41, Humor in Modeling. Third place, Gary Beatty, Baja Mixed Freight. Second place, Bill Evans, Maine Toon Panther. First place, Jason Tsai, Darth Vader, riding an ad app. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Second place was the uh, Toon Panther. The Maine Toon Panther. Bill, 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 Jose Medina with M26 Pershing Toon Tank. And first place, Joe Lamusio for the BA6, the two Russian armored cars. Okay, first. Thank you, bud. Oh, hang on, Joe. And Joe. Wrong one. Did we, did we get Andy up to get his third? Andy, Andy hasn't come up yet. Okay. Third. No, I'm first. Oh, you're first. Second. 43 Collection, also sponsored by Edith Keller. Third place, Ed Barak, the NASA X Plane Collection. Second place, Ogie Gonzalez for the Star Trek figures. And the first place goes to Joe Lamusio for his Great War Tanks. Okay. Need just a moment here to uh, restock the uh, the Rennie Trophy pile. Category 44, Railroad, Locomotive and Rolling Stock. This category is sponsored by Dane Lease. Third place, Conrad Schreier for the Denver and Rio Grande Pagosa Junction. Second place, Gary Beatty for the Heisler Baja Oriented Logging. And first place, Doug Ramos for the Denver and Rio Grande C-16 locomotive. First. 45, Structures and Scenery. We had two entries. Second place going to Foster Rash for the Idaho Springs Gold Mine. First place to Doug Ramos for the O'Neill's Fabrication. And you know what? That wraps up the categories. We're already in the special ones. First place? Yeah. Was the second first. There was no third. Okay, uh, Foster, did we give you a third place? Foster and Doug. I think we gave you a third and a, and a second. It should have been a second and a first. Where you guys at? Oh, yeah. 
Doug is supposed to get first. There you go. And Foster is supposed to get second. Foster. Around Foster? I see Foster over there. Ah, uh, we'll get it to him later. He's not listening. Yeah, Foster's not hearing it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so. A little harsher. We'll now take a slight detour into some special awards, all provided by Warlock Industries in honor of Dale King. Uh, four special awards that have been selected from among the automotive entries. So, yep. Got a Dale King Award of Excellence special award. The first one is presented to Kristen Aslanian for the Mercedes C9. Second to Pablo Maida for the Porsche 356. The third goes to Sean Jenkins for his motorcycle. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> and the fourth, and these were not in any particular order. Fourth goes to Timothy Martinez for his S10 truck. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Jesus Christ. All right. Now we're on into Category best ofs. So let's see if we have sponsors here. All right, starting with what do we have first? Matt, you can't go. Best diorama or historical figure. Best diorama or historical figure. There is no sponsor for this one. Best diorama or historical figure goes to. Bruce McRae for Idiots, I Told You So. <laughs> Next up, Best Military Vehicle, sponsored by Southern California Amps. Best Military Vehicle goes to, hey, we just saw this guy, Bruce McRae, SDKFZ 251-70. Congratulations again. Well, we've got to save this for last. Okay. <laughs> when you've got a category called best of the rest, and you don't do it last. <laughs> All right. Best automotive, sponsored by Warlock Industries in memory of Dale King. Best Automotive goes to the Mercedes-Benz Hauler by Daniel Valencia. <laughs> Best Sci-Fi and Fantasy, sponsored by Mike Mayer, is presented to Shang-Wei Yang for the Blockade Runner. Best aircraft goes to Carlos Oriana for the F-16 Aggressor. All right, now it's best of the rest. Everything that doesn't fit into one of those categories all together. So yes, you have ships competing against locomotives, competing against the collections. But that's just the way it goes. All right, best of the rest goes to 
Doug Ramos for O'Neill's Fabrication. Naval Carrier Aviation. Winner is Sean Follison, me for my USS Langley. <laughs> it helps I built the ship that's on the beach. <laughs> For the record, he didn't actually judge that. No, I so didn't. So don't lynch him in the parking lot. You ready? All right, on. we're ready. Drum roll. Drum roll. Best of show, Best of show for Orange Con 2022. Shang Wei Yang for the Blockade Runner. <laughs> <laughs> presentation. David, are we ready with the final raffle? Thank everybody for coming. Thank you all for coming. This is a great to see you all here today. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the judges. Thanks for all the judges who helped and volunteered to help. And we are going to uh, pick the final grand prize raffle. Live real time must be present to win. <laughs>